we don't see eye to eye. Okay. I, re I respect the guy. I don't. People think I hate him. I don't hate him. Uh, he has a tough job, but you know, I, I'm coming from a fighter's viewpoint. Uh, you know, I, I feel like. You know, he, he's the warden. It was Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> I, Andy, defrained myself out of that well. that pile. And then this is my Morgan Freeman, you know? Right so here. We're in Mexico right a now, baby. A lot younger, though. We're in Mexico. But, you know, I wish them the best. And I, I still watch every UFC, and I support him. And he has a tough job, man. This is your Zay Wontaneo? Is that what you're yes, telling me right exactly. now? Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so, so you, you know, Conor McGregor, Dana White skirmish. I See, now, I, my dad was a business guy. I've always loved business. So my takeaway was, if you set a precedent with Conor, for the next 30 years, every guy that gets popular is like, I'm not going to go to a press conference. But I also understand Conor deserves exceptions like Bryce Harper does. Correct. So did you fall on the fighter or the Dana? I'm always fighter. I'm, I'm always fighter first. And, and, and I voice that opinion, which sometimes gets me in trouble. But sure. as long as you're true to yourself, you're going to be all right. So with Conor, he, we've never had a Conor. Conor's talking about fighting Floyd Mayweather for $50 million. Go find another guy who could do that. We don't have him. So he's our pink elephant in a circus full of gray elephants. He's the pink elephant. You're going to be able to make some adjustments to that guy. Now, I understand he had obligations with the press conference, stuff like that. Connor sends out a tweet. His tweet when he retired was bigger than Kobe Bryant's retirement tweet. What are we talking about?